Hey babies. Hey, hey cousins. It's Granny Karma here. And your Southern Blonde Bell. And look we, what we have for you today guys. We have some delicious homemade uh, chicken and dumplings. That's some cat right mm. there y'all. Look at there. That looks delicious. How huh, guys look at it. It's got uh, celery and peas and all kinds of goodies in there. I hope you guys can see that. Yummy. Look at that. I mean, that is... Can you? They can't even see me. Y'all don't want to see me. Look at this. This is... Oh, some that is that's a cat right there. Look that at that. That looks great. Oh, look at that big old piece of chicken there, guys. That's the chicken. So they can see <laughs> and don't worry, this ain't no neck bone when it came no, to left over. No, for sure didn't. You, we, she has a family, and I have a family. So, guys, when we cook these big meals, don't worry. It's not going to go to waste, and we're not going to overindulge. I That's promise right. you. What else? We have some delicious. Shannon's one of her favorites. Mm -hmm. She likes her some broccoli. So, let yes. me take this out so you guys can see it. Look there. Look Yum. how cool. We make sure broccoli. we got our greens. That's right. And look, see the juice right there? Mm -hmm. She's got Gotta it all that. juiced up. Of course, and I cooked it with a little butter, mm -hmm. you know. And then we just have some um, bread. What do you call it? Toast. Toasted um, bread. What do you call it? <laughs> cheesy bread. <laughs> cheesy toast bread or whatever. <laughs> but oh. anyway, guys, enough of this talking. Let's get this month ball started! Woo, yes! <laughs> Actually eating on behind the oh, screen right we'll here. Oh, we'll show it to them at the end. We will after we get we'll some show of this pound in our yeah, belly. At, we'll show it to you at the end. So, um, can you put me a little bit I in sure here? I yes. sure can. I sure can. Look at there, y'all. And is... then I'm gonna we're gonna move this to the side so that you guys Ooh. can see it a little bit better. And that oh is my thick. Look at that. Yeah. That is good. Thick. Guys, I didn't uh, film this when I was doing it because sometimes I go in the kitchen and I just. Start, you know, and I don't, I don't know. I don't have time to set up the camera and all of that, but it, I can kind of give you the recipe. I can really still give you the recipe, even though uh, I didn't film it. And I think I have a chicken and dumpling recipe. Now these, um, let's see, where can we put that? Do we have any space, Shannon? Uh, I can make some space over here, darling. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse her just for one minute because we want you guys to be able to see our wonderful, wonderful, delicious meal. So we're going to move everything to the back here and then you'll be able to see exactly. Okay, let's put this. I'll just leave this here. Now, guys, you can kind of see it. I want you, we're not going to tell you what we're eating off of. <laughs> Let's see if y'all can guess. There you go. We're going to let you guys guess. Mm -hmm. There you go, right? Okay, so now they can see our great food here. I'm going to get me a little bit of this broccoli. Now, I have been told <laughs> that I must be from the picky south. <laughs> Miss T. What was her uh -huh. name? Oh, Tammy look at T. See, guys? From the picky <laughs> Tammy, Tammy, was that T A M Z? T A M M Y. T A M M Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, she said Shannon was from the uh, Picky South. Picky South. And guys, you know She's what? She's from the Dirty South. I'm from the Dirty South. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of the Picky South. So guys, I look, thought it was really cute. That is, that was adorable. Mm. So here's a dumpling, guys. Let me bring it over here so yes. you guys can see that. That is a big dumpling. It is. Oops. <laughs> see, guys, it's so hard to. Here, guys, this is, you're going to have the first bite. That's what's going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Take that first bite. Big old dumpling. Mm -hmm. That is a big dumpling. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. Now, this That's is good. the first time I've had dumplings like this. Mm. Right. Shannon gave me the idea, and I didn't even know, guys, that you can buy the dumplings already made Mrs. Mm -hmm. B. Mrs. B. But to me they're not really like dumplings because they're not fluffy. They're more like noodles to me. You know like the wide noodles. Yes ma'am. But they serve the purpose. Instead right. of going in the kitchen and you know 
Roll that dough. Yeah, rolling out the dough and everything. It was already made. And um, so all I had to do was, you know, prepare my chicken and everything. But I always like to put, uh, see guys, can you see that? I have peas and carrots and string beans. Now, the secret to it is that you have to make sure that you don't have any lumps in it from the flour or the sour cream when you get ready to put it into your pot of water, you know, pot with your uh, chicken in it. Okay. Because otherwise, it'll break down and it'll seize up. Really? And it'll just have like lumps of sour cream in there. Hmm. That's but if you do it the right way, and maybe one day I'll film it, guys, and I'll show you how exactly it's done. And another good thing that I put in here, I put, I can never tell if I'm saying it right, turmeric or turmeric. Oh, and that is very mm -hmm. good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I put that in there. Can you see the color is kind of a, that golden mm -hmm. looking color? And I put that in there. Um, so it, it was an easy, it's easy to make, very easy. So you don't have I to. I usually just pop up in a can of cream chicken soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is much better than the, cream, than the can of cream, cream of chicken soup. I tell you so, what, then we just got a challenge. Uh oh. I'm going to cream and chicken it, and she's going <laughs> to knock, and we're going we're gonna to do it. But we're gonna do a taste test. Uh oh, and we're gonna do it, and then we're not gonna tell them what's we're, the switch. That would be fun. We're fine. not gonna know. Uh oh, we're gonna get. We're gonna put it. Mm hmm. We're gonna see which is better: cream of chicken or the other. Or oh, this one. I know it's gonna be easier. <laughs> and the noodles, these, these are good. You know, uh, my daughter loved it. Um. She had me pack her some away to take to lunch. And you can eat off of this. You know, you can make a big old pot of it. Well, and too, as we said, I mean, it is a, you saw that mm -hmm. bowl. It is. Yeah. Like, and she's already got some to her daughter for lunch. Oh, yeah. And actually, yeah. you can turn that back into a, a chicken pot pie. That's right. All you got to do is get the breading and put it on there and, you know, put it in the oven now, or whatever. Of right? course, you know what I would do for my topping? Mm. Then wop biscuits. Mm. Put them wop biscuits on top. What's a? You know what a wop biscuit is. You wop it on the counter. <laughs> That's a wop biscuit. <laughs> a wop biscuit. <laughs> a wop biscuit. <laughs> it is so funny, guys. A yeah. wop biscuit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You just wop it. On. I know you yeah. wop it, but I didn't know it had a name. Oh yeah, wop it. You, you, Shannon makes up her own <laughs> names. <laughs> Of foods and stuff in her own head, guys. <laughs> what do we think about that? I don't mm. know. <laughs> it's that blonde color that brings all that oh, brain and... power out. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That blonde is it's gonna get blonder, guys. Be ready for. Her. That's right. I'm really Be gonna be ready for blonde her. Male. So, what do you want to talk about today? Well, you know, I heard about that story that was going on around. About that girl. Now y'all want us to talk about real stuff sometimes? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I know we, we kind of touched on it a little bit. And we do want to talk about things that are going, that are happening around us. You know, <laughs> we don't want to turn a blind eye like things are not happening. Right. And I just want to give, first of all, my condolences. Yeah. My sincerest condolences. To the family of the young lady who died so violently. Mm -hmm. I believe she had a daughter. I don't know if she had other children. I know she had a daughter and her daughter is just heartbroken and it was just such a senseless, right. any kind of crime like that that results in a death is just so senseless. It's, you yes, know, it's it, so yes. sad. But what we're talking about is uh, and I had asked Shannon, this is one time when Granny knows more than Shannon. <laughs> and I, we were talking about it, and I was saying it was a situation of um, the young man being on the down low. And I asked Shannon, I said, you know, Shannon was like, what? Yeah, I didn't know what a down low was. She, didn't, she said she didn't know what a down low was. I did not. And I explained to her that's when a man or a woman, you know, is... Um, have sex or have sex with the same sex, but 
they keep it a secret. They don't want the outside world to know about it. Oh. For whatever their reasons, you know. Right, right. They don't want their the outside world to know about it. So they keep it on the down, down low. low. They keep sense. it on the down low. And so this young man, he um, evidently is with this woman. Mm -hmm. It was on the down low. And I guess they had had a previous sexual relationship. And um, they had a sexual encounter at her at his cousin's house, I believe. Yeah. I and I think, yeah, I think. And then um, she forgot something. And she goes back to retrieve it, and the door was open, so she just goes back in to retrieve whatever. Right. And she sees them having, her, the two guys having sex, and she had just had sex with him. And so, you know, she uh, was very upset, and right. I guess she told him, if, you know, if you don't give me money, or that's what they're saying. I don't know, guys. Right. We're just, we're just going by what we have news, heard. This is, right. We just, we are, and only to get to to talk about, you know, how do you react in certain situations, you know, not yeah. so much of her particular story, but supposedly she told them, if you don't give me $5,000, I'm going to blast it all over Facebook and right, everywhere. Right. And I evidently she did. I didn't look at it, uh, but I kind of heard little news reports of it that she did go on Facebook and she mm -hmm. told everybody. And I guess the following day she was in her car driving or, and her car got shot up. Her car got shot up. And the police are saying they're not sure if it's connected or if it was something different. Right. But I said all of that to say this, guys. How would you, you know, I have 80%, we have 80% females on here right. on our channel. So we, right. we need to talk about woman and woman, yeah, girl yeah. to girl stuff. And we have 20% male, of course, mm -hmm. you know. So we need to talk about these things. <laughs> Excuse me. How would you... React. I mean, how would you feel about that, and how would you react? And I'm going to go from a younger perspective because I'm not going to be, <laughs> I'm not going to be, you know, in the. I don't see myself in that particular situation. Right. I know how I would respond in my younger days, but tell me if I, you put well, yourself in that position. Okay. Well, Even though she's married, but well, you know, I think, of course, I mean. When you're in the heat of the moment of madness, mm. you, your reactions are before your brain, of mm. course. Um, but I probably would have just uh, broke red on them. I would have, I would have, woo, now, right there. But I wouldn't have like, okay. I wouldn't have thought to, okay, like hold, you know, rewind, hold rewind, rewind, because you are from the. What did you say? Pick yourself? Break red. What's break red? Break what does red. that mean? That means I would have cussed them mm. out. Okay. And they would have known. Mm -hmm. They would have known before I got. But I would have. I would have not thought to say, "Well, okay, if you don't do this or that, mm -hmm. or other, I wouldn't have thought that." I mean, okay. she was quick on the draw to mm -hmm. think that fast about that. Uh -huh. But um, mm. I know it's good. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. So I would have just probably done that and then mm -hmm. just been done with it. Mm. Been done with it. Okay. Now, or whatever. That brings us to something even more important. Ladies, it's your body. You never entrust your body to anybody except for yourself. First right. of all. That's right. Okay? Whether it's oral sex or you know, whatever kind of, whatever it is, first of all, you know, you don't know what the other person is doing, even in a marriage. You even don't? Even in a marriage. And that's the reason why it's called down low. That's right. Even yeah. in a marriage, you don't know what they're doing, but once you get married, of course, you know, you have to have that certain amount of faith and trust that's in right. them. But if you're just out there, you know, dating, um, and dating and is so different nowadays, it is. ladies. Oh my goodness! So you don't know what that person is doing. 
So don't open yourself up for that. Right, right. You don't open yourself up to there's disease now that you can't get rid of. Right. You know, um, like they, I think they said gonorrhea are, are like diamonds. They're for, it's forever. Wow. You can't get rid of it. You know, you, you sure don't want to wear that on your finger. You don't wear that on. You don't want to wear that. So you have to think about just because you had sex with that person before, or just because oh, I'm just having oral sex, so right. I'm gonna be. And safe. a lot of the teenagers, oh. young kids, say that now if they're doing that, that's not sex. They're that's still what I have oh heard. Oh my gosh, I have heard. Yes, you know mm -hmm. that. Um, a, a lot of the teenagers now and young girls and young boys engage in oral sex like mm -hmm. it's shaking hands. Right, yeah. Like and it's shaking true. hands. That, yes. And yes. That's, that is just terrible. Where mm -hmm. is the romance? Where is the pride in your body? Well, here's the thing. When I was on the dating scene, um, you know, the guys would ask for your number, of course, and you get the number. Now, the text mm. thing, they'll say, get your, and they'll text you. The first text I get is, send me a picture. Oh. And I'm like, you know what I look like? Oh, and they're like, no, send me yeah. a picture. And I'm like, I'm not a car. You don't test drive before you go give me a steak. Oh, my so goodness. I sent a picture yeah. of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> that, I said, you had not seen my foot yet. Oh, so said, that's your smart. Foot. That's right. That's what they do now. They yes, say it. it is. It is true. And... Going back to uh, uh, saying that about, mm. and it, you, I, you know, when you point out a certain uh, sexual disease, you know, and I know it, anyone yeah. has that, I know that that just made your skin like you feel bad. And, I mean, you just when you, you're blinded by, it, you don't know. So we're not pointing fingers that just oh, that no, and that. Absolutely. So don't think that, please. No, but because you can get it from, like I said, you can get it from your husband. Right. You don't know where that other person has been. You and know. a lot of times uh, we've learned that um, even with um, AIDS, if you're just the carrier, right. there's one couple that's been married for years, mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and and he got it from a blood transfusion. Yes. He didn't know. Because back then it wasn't like now. Absolutely. And she was just devastated. She thought he yeah. cheated, blah, blah, blah. And they found out that, you know, he was that just he a carrier. It. That's that. right. So it, well, that's kind of kinda like... Uh, I don't know if you remember, but this is around the time when AIDS first became prevalent on the scene and everybody kind of knew about it. Uh, Magic Johnson. Nice. Magic Hi. Johnson, you know, he he let everyone know that he had AIDS. And we went through that tense, tense time of them testing yeah. his wife, Cookie. Yeah. And I think she was pregnant at the time yeah. to see if she had it. And got, got, she didn't have it. Yeah, she right, didn't have right. it, and he had it, and of course they were husband and wife, so, you know, and she was pregnant, so it seems that they were having sex without protection, right, you know, but she didn't, she, she was, right, and, and she didn't have it, so, we're just saying that, you know, when you're young and you're single, you know, you just have to be careful and protect yourself. Even now, I'm not trying to tell you exactly. I'm not trying to tell you, you know, don't have sex. I'm not saying that. I'm not, you know, you you are your own master of your own body. But make sure that you protect your body. And then if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, guys, you know, you have to really, you know, think before you say right. things or do mm -hmm. things. You know, don't, you know, don't jump to yeah. conclusions of things so quickly because a life yeah, is lost yes, yes. and and a child is is without her mother right and and it's all over some silly nonsense right. you know i mean it's not silly nonsense to them because their mom is gone or their daughter is gone but it's so it didn't have to happen like happen. that and i'm just so sorry for that family right and i just want you guys to you know to when circumstances and things happen, you know, review them and think them over in your mind and go, okay, look how that happened to her. Right. That could easily happen to me. Right. right. How am I going to respond? Remember what we also always say, you know, karma is how right. others treat you is their karma. Right. But how you respond yes. is your karma. And that is... How she, right re there. how she responded. Right. How right. she responded and it's so unfortunate and I and I feel so sorry for the family. I really do. Yeah. Um 
And, but, and you got to think about this too. Now, and I'm not at all for the guy, mm -hmm. but he is now, his life's changed because yes. of, you know, what he was doing yeah. behind closed doors, yes. which was his closed door. Yes. It was cracked open, but, right. um, yeah. you know, yeah. now, now everybody is, knows. So and it's all a revolving circle. Do yeah. we know? And, and he's going to be tainted because people are always going to think, well, he has something to do with her death. Even right. if the police come back and say, no, you know, something right. else happened. It was, it was you wrong know. Wrong time, wrong place. Maybe, yeah. Right, Who right. knows what happened? It's that, that's for the family and, and the police to, right. to decide on. But, you know, now people are going to think, did he do it? Right. Did, he, did he have anything to do with it? And then also, oh, that's just like O.J. Simpson. I mean, yes. they prove him, but he still has that over his head yes. constantly. Yes, constantly. We don't know, you know, right? Who who knows? You don't know so if it happened innocent, or not. You're that's never right. innocent once you're guilty in the public in eye. In the public eye, that's right. Mm -hmm. Once you're in the public eye, and unfortunately, um, you know, if he had wanted, I think something like that, <clears throat> I would never expose somebody else. Even yeah. if I, you know, you set yourself up to that. You set yourself up to have sex with them. And then you're going to, even though he didn't tell you, he didn't tell you that, uh, or I'm not talking about her in particular now. I'm talking about just as a general right. rule. If I had sex with a guy and I found out later that he was having sex with men, I'm not going to go and blast that out because, right. you know, that's on me. For that's me true. not true. taking my time and to, to know and, 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 and to Alone. get more. Yeah. And even though you take your time and know, you know, you can be married to somebody for 20, 25 years. <laughs> Amen. And not know, know that I'm they're right. out there having <laughs> sex with guys or, or yeah. women, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah. And does he necessarily have to tell her? You know, like yeah, if it's a woman, a if it's a woman, does she go in and say, well, you know, I have sex with other women. Yeah, see, see, I mean, this, I know we're, it's, really, like, what? it's really a deep situation. It really is. It a really thing. is a deep situation, and it's a moral, I think it's a moral situation, and you can take it all kinds of ways. I know I'm a grandma, but I'm not such a stickler that I don't know what's going on in the world, and I don't know what was going on when I was young. That's Listen, true, yeah. my dad is still alive. I'm 71, and my dad is 85. My mother was 14 years old when I was born. So, yeah. you know. That's seven people, years more than I mean, yeah. seven <laughs> exactly. years my son, and he would be a dad. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, I, I understand <laughs> about sexual things and, and, you know, some things I experienced and some things I didn't because I was with my husband from the age of 17. So, thank you, Lord Jesus, that I was not you know, out there in the world where I had to go out and experience things like that. Right. And that's the good thing about being married and unto one. You don't have to go out there and experience those things. But the way the world is nowadays, like yes. you said, it's, it's so hard. It's not, you but know. It's so hard even. I, my mama, you know, she, mm. she she just wants a companion. Now, yes. even at my mother's of age. Course. Oh, yeah. But oh yeah, I put her on. Yeah, match.com, y'all. <laughs> and that's sweet. That's awesome. But, but look, let me just tell y'all. Okay, I said, Mom, I hate to tell you this, but your choices are not so great oh, with your age group. Yeah. But, yeah. but on a lot of notes, the younger guys was interested in my mother. Yeah. And the older guys, of course, wanted They want the Barbie. younger girls. Yeah, yeah they want the right. younger girls. Right. I don't know wow. what they're going to do with that. Barbie. Did she ever? Oh, guys, that's going to be, we're going to have to let you go Ooh. on that note. And that's going to be the subject of another <laughs> time because I think that's really interesting. Yeah. I want to know. But like you said, you know, no matter what age, people just want a companion. You know, you want the companionship. But guys, uh, <laughs> listen, Look. we're going to show you guys really quickly before oh, we yeah. go. What did y'all think this was by chance? What did you guys think it was, guys? What did you think it was? Mm -hmm. me... <laughs> Look, we've got some count on this table. Oh my goodness! Let me uh, let me move this out of the way. Okay. They're like you guys are getting up from the what? Table Look, and this is some let me let me, let me I'm mixture take some of food off of here. Food. Wait, this is a mixture of uh, let me move this conversation. So they can see it really I know y'all think what? And I we enjoyed this meal. Listen. 
<laughs> I'm so glad here, y'all, that tried my cornbread. Oh, and yeah. I loved it. So thank y'all. I'm glad y'all loved it because I'd be like, I don't I know what cornbread you're talking cornbread. about. I think that's the way I'm going to be making my cornbread from now on, guys, with the bacon in the bottom. It is oh. delicious. But, guys, let me tell you. Oh, man, I wanted to tell them about you stealing my bacon. And oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about that in the oh, next. Yeah, y'all have to know about the bacon later, too. <laughs> but, so, what is look, that? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's, it's a little ironing board. It's an ironing board. It's an we ironing board. Right. And uh, Shannon made it into a We got it at our local thrift store. At our local thrift store. Mm -hmm. And it's brand. it was brand new. Because right. who uses these <laughs> anymore? Uh -uh. She, <laughs> no, if it says iron, I don't pick it off off the shelf. Yeah, I know the one that's on old, It's an old timey kind of thing. I love it. I just love it. Look, she, she got one that was in a little or this. I said, oh, what is that goodness. for the Barbie doll club? <laughs> I know. I know. It was, it was so, it's so tiny. It's we'll so show you, you that next You guys time will too. see us eating up of all kinds of weird things, guys. But anyway, guys, well, we got to say it again. How others treat you is their, their karma. karma. But how you respond, my babies, every time, no matter how what you the situation, respond, that's right, is your karma. I'll see you in the next video, Bye. guys. Bye-bye now. <laughs>